Hi, Bold Bakers. I have shared my best ever brownie recipe with you, and also I've shared a lot of cookie recipes. But what do you think would happen if we crossed my brownie with a cookie? The results are insane, and we're gonna find out right now, so let's get baking. So first off, I'd like to say a big thank you to HelloFresh for bringing you this bonus recipe. So a lot of you know, I spent the majority of my day making desserts, which doesn't leave me a lot of time to focus on dinner or even to go shopping for dinner. So I started using HelloFresh. Now HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that makes cooking a more fun experience and doesn't just focus on what's on the plate. They deliver to you for free in an insulated recyclable box. Also, each recipe comes with a step-by-step -step instruction card and roughly each meal takes around 30 minutes to make. Another thing I love about them is that they're less than $10 a meal. So here's the great news. HelloFresh have offered My Bold Bakers $30 off your first week of deliveries. All you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and then enter in the promo code GemmaStafford30 or you can click the link in the description box below this video. I really recommend you take advantage of this offer because it's a really, really great service. Okay, let's get started on our cookies. In a large bowl, we're going to add in butter, some white sugar and brown sugar. So now what you want to do is melt this butter so you can put it over the stove or you can put it in the microwave for a few seconds. So once your butter is melted, I'm going to take my hand mixer and I'm going to cream these ingredients together for roughly two to three minutes. Now, just so you know, I did try and do this recipe by hand, but my cookies came out really flat. So I had better results when I used my hand mixer. Okay, so this is looking good. Now into here, I'm going to add in my eggs. And then, as you know, I'm a huge fan of vanilla extract. So I'm going to pour in some vanilla extract too for extra flavor. Brownies generally always have vanilla extract in them. It gives them a lovely flavor. Okay, and then we're going to go in again with our mixer and cream this up for another two to three minutes. So let me just explain to you what these cookies are like. You know the inside of a brownie, just the inside, not the edges, the gooey, fudgy stuff in the middle. That's what these cookies are. They're all goo, all fudge, absolutely insane. So you're going to love them when you try them. So as you can see, this gets nice and foamy and it kind of goes pale in color. So that's what we're looking for. The eggs have thickened up a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sift in some cocoa powder and some salt. So now when it comes to cocoa powder, I always recommend buying unsweetened cocoa powder. It's always the best quality and get a nice dark color too. That will give you really good cookies or brownies or whatever you're making. Also, you will notice that there's no flour in these cookies, so they're good if you're gluten-free. And if you want to replace the eggs, check out my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, where you can find the recipe and you can see how you can replace the eggs in it. Okay, so that's our cocoa powder. Now we're gonna go back in with our machine and beat for another 30 seconds to a minute until all your cocoa powder is combined. This is looking like fudgy heaven right now. But then last but not least, of course, we have to add in some big chunks of chocolate. So in those guys go. And then just take a spatula and fold those in. Perfect. This is such an easy cookie recipe to make. So now you will notice this is a very soft cookie dough. So what I like to do is pop it into the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes and let it firm up before we bake it off. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. My dough is nice and chilled, ready to be scooped. You can always make this two to three days in advance and it will live happily in the fridge. Now what we're gonna do is take a scoop and scoop out 12 big cookies. That's how many this dough makes. And what I like to do is just make them nice and round so they only spread out a little bit. They're still nice and thick cookies when they bake. Fantastic. Look at those chunks of chocolate. <laughs> I wasn't shy with the chocolate, that's for sure. So just keep on scooping till they're all gone. You know what you can do as well? Make these, then pop them into the freezer and then you've got cookie dough ready to go in case of an emergency. Okay, perfect. Our cookies are nice and rounded. That's the way I want them. Now I'm just gonna add on a few extra chocolate chips on top just to make sure that there's enough chocolate in them. Okay, lovely. Everybody got a little bit of chocolate? Perfect. Now I'm gonna pop these into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 12 to 13 minutes. Now here is the secret when it comes to these cookies. Just like my brownies, the cooking time has to be exact because you need to get that lovely soft fudgy center. So 12, 13 minutes, that's it. So it wasn't long at all and our cookies are ready. Now come here, I want to show you something. I want to show you how you can tell when they're done. They might look like they're still a little bit soft and need more baking, they do not. What's gonna happen is we're gonna let these rest for around two minutes, just chill out a little bit and they are gonna be perfect on the inside. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, this is what I've been building you up to. Look at that cookie, insane. 
insane. It is just like the inside of a brownie, but in a cookie. <gasps> this is definitely my kind of big and bold treat. Seriously, what could be better? Cookie and a brownie, a match made in heaven. Mm. You have to try this recipe. You're gonna love it, I know you are. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go check out my HelloFresh offer. The link is in the description box below. And I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.